Hi friends, this is Angelica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some coloring and I'm going to color on top of a stamped image. The stamp set that I'm going to be using is Spring Snowdrops. This is a greedery stamp set. Um, I'm not much of a drawer. Well, I just don't draw. I don't know how to draw, but I love coloring. So I have a craft room full of stamps and I decided to pull out this stamp and use some colored pencils that I received at Christmas and I have yet to use. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. This is the first time I'm using this stamp set and the first time using my pencils. A lot of stamp sets that crafters are comfortable coloring are outlined illustrations. This stamp set is a layering stamp set. So it's going to stamp the cluster of, of stems and leaves in a solid color. Then the second stamp that you would layer over the stems is just gonna bring in some shadow parts. And then there's also a stamp that will bring in some details for the flowers. I am stamping out the layers so you can see what the layers look like, but on the panel that I'm going to color, I am not going to be using the layers. I'm just going, I just stamped the bottom layer of the stems um, and then just followed that to color. Now in this stamp set, you're also going to get a stencil and that is how you can bring color to the flower petals and I used a really light yellow ink to show me where the petals are supposed to be. And now I'm going to color the rest of the scene with my pencils. Before I start coloring on the stamped panel, I am gonna swatch out a few colors first just to get a, like a color palette put together, figure out what pencils work well with um, each other, especially with the yellows, I am seeing what violet looks like layered under the yellow and I'm also figuring out do I want to use a warm yellow or a cool yellow and um, also thinking about like the greens I'm going to be picking. I did lean towards mossy green tones. I am going to bring in a raw umber and also a um, Prussian blue. Those are going to be the darker colors that I'm going to use to really emphasize some um, darker areas in the stems. Now, before I put on some music and just let you watch the coloring process, I do wanna bring a couple things to your attention. Number one being the pencil placement in my hand. So the farther up my hand is on the pencil, the that is like the least amount of pressure I'm using when laying down pigment. I also, when my hand is towards the top of the pencil, have the pencil at an angle and I'm coloring in a circular motion. I'm not coloring back and forth. The further my hand goes down the pencil, the firmer my pressure is. Um, I mean, I don't use a lot of pressure when I'm coloring with pencils because I don't want to lose the tip. And I didn't break a, not one tip in this um, coloring session. But the closer I get to the bottom of the pencil, I am, the pencil is going a bit more straight up and down. And I do color more in a line than in a circular motion, if that makes sense. I, I'm not a teacher. I'm really, I'm not an artist. I just love to color. Like I said, I don't know how to draw, but I love to color other people's illustrations. Um, so pencil placement is something that I'm going to be paying attention to when I'm coloring. I also color with a pencil sharpener right next to me. So I have sharp tips at all times. I also have an eraser with me to help me bring in some highlights and then just, you know, if I make a mistake, it's right there so I can clean that up. And I have a soft brush that I will be constantly using, brushing the panel just to get any um, like flakes of pigment that's come off the pencil, just brush that right off. So I'm not picking it up with my hand and smearing it. I am left-handed obviously. And that has been a problem that I've had my whole life spreading ink and pencil across the paper when I'm writing or coloring. So that brush is with me at all times, making sure there is no pigments that are left behind for me to um, smear on this panel. 
with that said, I am just going to put on music now and um, let you watch this process and I will be back when I'm done coloring.
I am just adding the last touches of details and you can see my hand is at the very bottom of this pencil and I have that pencil almost straight up and down and my tip is super sharp. And I'm also using a blue pencil. I love using dark blue pencils to add the um, darkest parts of my areas. I just think the blue makes the shadows really rich. Now this is a lighter blue than what I would have liked to have used. This is Perusian blue. I um, have indigo blue in my polychromo set. That blue is stunning and I wish I had pulled that out, but I just wanted to stick with the luminous pencils. This is a 40 piece set that I'm using and the Perusian blue is the darkest blue that's in this set. So this is the stamped image next to the colored image so you can see the difference. Now that I have the panel done, I am going to make this into a card. So I have attached the panel to a card base. I'm going to stamp a simple sentiment. I'm pulling one from All Occasions Script Sentiment Stamp Set. This is also from the Greetery. And um, I did color this with a friend in mind. We have a friend who is sick. My husband asked me if I would make him a card. So this is with Tony in mind. He was in my mind when I was um, doing all of the coloring. So I'm just going to stamp a quick get well soon onto acetate just to make sure I like the placement. And I did. So I'm going to stamp that right onto the panel. There is a coordinating die set if you would rather die cut your sentiment and then attach it. But I wanted to keep this really clean and simple. So that finishes this card and this video. I hope I was able to pass along some coloring tips and inspiration. It's fun when I can take a stamp set and completely transform it into something different. So always remember you can color over your layered um, stamps. You can use your pencils to add some extra details. Just experiment and have fun. That's the biggest takeaway from here. Have fun with your coloring. That is all that I have for today, friends. Take care.